Alice knew by now that she had been walking for some time, but the sun was still high in the sky. Something must have gone wrong with the time. As she got near to the March Hare's house, she heard voices from the back. So she went around to investigate. There was a long table set up for a banquet, with at least a dozen places and chairs. The March Hare was at the table, and so was the Hatter. The Dormouse is asleep again. That seems to be becoming a habit. They were having a conversation with the Dormouse between them, and they both rested their elbows on his head as they spoke. Um, please excuse me. Oh, uh, won't you have some wine? Oh well, I um,、uh, excuse me, but I I don't see any wine. There isn't any. Then why did you offer it? And why did you sit down without an invitation? Well, I didn't know this was a formal party. I mean, there are only three of you here, and so many places. Why don't you say what you mean? I do. At least I mean what I say, and that's the same thing. Not at all. You might as well say that I like what I eat is the same as I eat what I like. <laughs> you might as well say that I speak when I wish is the same as I wish when I speak. You might as well say. That I breathe when I sleep is the same as I sleep when I breathe. Well, it is the same with you. What day of the month is it? The second, I think. This watch says the ninth. I told you butter would never work. But it was the best butter. Then you shouldn't have put it in with the bread knife. Quite right. I thought it was the butter knife. Oh, that's a funny watch. It tells the day of the month. But not the hour. It's a perfectly ordinary watch. Does your watch tell what year it is? Why no? It stays the same year for too long a time. Which is just the same with mine. The dormouse is asleep again. Pour some tea on his nose. Yes, yes, just what I was going to say myself. You tell us a story before you fall asleep again. Oh yes, I love a good story. <laughs> If you wish, once upon a time there were three sisters: Elsie, Lacy, and Tilly, and they lived at the bottom of a well. What did they live on? Treacle. Oh, but they couldn't do that; they'd be sick. So they were very sick indeed. But there's no such thing as a treacle well. If you know this story better than I do, then why don't you tell it yourself? He's fallen asleep again. What do you think of that? I must say, I really don't know. Well, if you don't think, you shouldn't talk. Well, I'm not going to sit here and be insulted. You may stand if you wish. No, thank you.